Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So I've had a lot of requests for more photo editing videos and I thought we'd change things up today. I'll be putting five minutes on the clock to see how much of a difference some well-placed adjustments can make. Throughout the challenge, I'll be coming back to explain my choices and hopefully you'll learn something along the way. Let's dive in. Let's get that timer set and jump into the edit. All right, five minutes is on the clock. For this edit, I think I'm really gonna focus on some simple masks. Masks are a powerful tool in photo editing. They allow you to make selective adjustments without changing everything at once. With this first mask, my goal is to hopefully create a little bit more separation between the fox and the background. So we're gonna invert this selection I've made and I just want the background. So using a linear gradient, I can remove the grass and also use it to clean up the rough selection underneath the fox. And with this mask, I just want to try and make things a little bit darker so the subject pops a little bit more. By darkening and softening the area, I can guide the viewer's eyes straight to the fox and hopefully avoid some of the clutter behind her. I'm also going to warm up the background a bit and add some atmosphere by decreasing the clarity and dehaze sliders. This just gives it a little bit of a warmer glow. This next mask is really simple, but it'll make a big difference. I'm adding a linear gradient over the grass at the bottom of the frame, and by darkening it just a little, it creates the illusion of a soft shadow. With this one mask, I think it really takes away from the flatness of the grass. It's no longer just this solid green block at the bottom of the photo. So I'm just quickly making some global adjustments here just to make sure everything is balancing out. Next, I wanna add another mask coming in from the right hand side. With this one, I just wanna subtly darken the shadows a bit so that I can add some more depth to this side of the scene. Now, I wanna bring some warmth into the scene from the corner of the photo where the light is naturally coming in. I think radial gradients work great for this kind of thing because they fade in more gently around the edges. I'll warm this section up, dehaze it, and reduce the clarity. This combination of sliders softens the light that I'm bringing into the scene. Now, I'm just making some adjustments to individual colors. I wanna add a little bit of red into the orange and yellow hues. I'm also going to add some warmth into this scene using the color grading wheels. I chose to only adjust the highlights here. I really was going all in for this golden hour feel, so I quickly went back to some of the global adjustments again to increase the overall warmth, and I did try to balance that out a bit by adjusting the green and purple tint. Okay, so we've made a lot of changes so far, and these next ones are gonna be subtle. I don't wanna overdo it. I'll be adding in two more sets of masks, one for the fox's eyes, and one for just half of the fox's face. The goal here is to subtly lift some of the shadows and make her pop just a little bit more, but without making it look too artificial. I should have made the uh, subject selection bigger. Let's see if that works. <laughs> That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to take a linear, so I'm only affecting the other half of the fox. Don't want to affect the leg. And then all I want to do is simply lift the shadows, the highlights, and maybe balance it out with a small increase in contrast. Tight on time, I quickly decided to drop the clarity and reduce the dehazing across the entire image to give it a softer overall look. At this point, the edit has really come together, and I decided to use my last 25 seconds to simply denoise the photo. Now, of course, I ran out of time to adjust the amount of denoising, so it's set at the default 50. And I think it looks pretty good, but I usually like to dial it back to around 30 just so the overall photo isn't too smooth. But either way, I think it looks great. Here's the final before and after. And that's the challenge done. Five minutes isn't a lot of time, but it goes to show that some well-placed adjustments can make a big difference. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this edit and maybe you learned something along the way. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.